Yo, what's poppin' my people? It's your boy Crooks the Great back at you guys with another banger of a UFC 5 video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to get better at striking in UFC 5. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight to it. The first tip that I have for you guys is to learn distance management as well as strike ranges before you head into an online fight. Now, in order to do this, you can use practice mode. You want to start moving around a little bit. Start trying to find the distance on your strikes, like right here. Obviously, Sean O'Malley's jab or his straight are not going to hit. So if we're stationary, we need to be about in this range in order to land the most damage with his jab straight. And then you want to practice with your kicks as well. You want to practice on your range, on your body kicks, as well as on your head kicks. Because the ranges are a little bit more, they're a little bit different between the kicks. So right here, a body kick is going to land pretty much the optimal range for a body kick. And then if you take just a half a step back, that's where your head kicking range is going to be. That's where you're going to get most of the damage off with head kicks. So you want to learn all of your strike ranges and then try to do them moving. And this is what I mean by distance management. When you're in an online fight, you aren't just going to be standing right here in front of your opponent. You're going to be moving in and out of the pocket. You're going to be sitting at different ranges. So you want to know what strikes to throw and when and in what at what distance they land. You know what I mean? So obviously you're not going to want to throw a jab straight right here because it's, it's going to slow down. The straight will hit, but the jab will miss. And then most of the time, if you're facing somebody that's really good, they're just going to hit you with a stationary combination because they're willing to exchange that. So learning uh, distance management as well as strike ranges is super important to being a good striker in UFC 5. As a side note, for those of you guys that are newer to the game and that don't know where to find different moves and what uh, what combinations and what strikes a fighter can throw, you're going to come into practice mode, go to pause go to the pause menu right here go to game help go to view moves and then right here it's going to show you all the punches and the kicks and the spinning strikes that that in particular fighter can throw so that's how you do that just as a side note for those of you guys that didn't know or that are newer to the game now the second thing the second tip that i'm going to give to you guys here to be a good striker in ufc 5 is learn how to be good at timing work on your timing now this goes hand in hand with the distance management and the striking ranges because if you don't have good distance management and you don't know what strike to throw at what range you're not going to be able to work on your timing so these two things go hand in hand so you can't skip tip number one because tip number two you're not going to be able to do it without tip number one but working on your timing because timing is the key to winning online fights your timing and your ability to stay on timing and to mix it up is going to be what's going to win you fights it really is your timing is going to win you fights being faster than your opponent being slowing it down being able to counter your opponents is obviously super important so it's a super important thing to work on if you struggle with a certain combination come into practice mode turn on strike recording work on slipping that combination work on your timing on your counters so how i would recommend that you guys do working on counters is you input a combination and then you immediately hold block right after it because it's going to put up that block so if you're not on the timing for the counter you're not, or on the timing window for the counter you're going to miss every single time so you're going to want to work on it and that's how you do it so that's going to help you work on the timing for the countering. And then for pressure countering or being offensive with timing, you're going to want to work on it here, work on the distance management, but then go into an online fight, onto online quick fight in particular, because the records don't seem to matter as much as ranked championships. And work on your timing against actual opponents online. That's how you're going to work on the timing uh, against an actual online opponent is through online quick fight so for the third thing that i do have for you guys for a tip 
is going to be the most obvious one, and that is combinations. This is why everybody wants combinations is because combinations are, at the end of the day, what are going to win you a lot of online fights. You're going to need, need to be able to get damage off with high damaging combinations and different stuff like that. So for those of you guys that are newer to the game, like I said, with viewing moves, you're going to come over here. You're going to pull up the moves list. But instead of looking at punches and kicks and spinning strikes, you're going to come over here to your combos list. And this is going to show you what combinations your fighter can throw. So right here, you guys can see Sean O'Malley has level three boxing combinations, level four kickboxing combinations, level two Muay Thai combinations, and level four traditional combinations. So if you want to know what combinations your fighters can throw, they're going to be right here. And the ones that are in the red are not assigned to your fighter. So come in here, look at the list, and then go back into practice mode and really just work on the combinations. Work on them. And specifically work on combinations that are going to help you in every scenario that you can think of in a fight. So what I mean by that is if your opponent's slipping off, if they're slipping to your lead hand, then you need to work on a combination that starts with a lead hook and then can combo into something else like that right there. Something simple. If your opponent is ducking, you're going to want to start your combination off with an uppercut. So you need to work on those kind of combinations. If your opponent is leading into your rear side hand, then you're going to need to start off combinations with a rear uppercut. And there are co good solid combinations that do start with that as well. So you're going to want to work on, as well as pulls. If somebody's going to be pulling the entire time, you need to start off combinations with a straight every single time. And this is going to work with counter fighters as well. It's going to work... Uh, uh, on helping you deal with counter fighters working on these type of combinations because a lot of people tend to slip the last strike of a combination and they tend to just get really repetitive with it so if you start noticing that they're doing the same movement on, on a combo then you can just switch it up and end the combination with what's going to counter their slip so it could be super it's super important to know combinations and although I'm not going to give you guys combinations in this video right here, I will be dropping a combinations video here pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that. But that's it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button if you're new to the channel. I do post UFC 5 content on this channel daily. And like I said, I am going to be making a combos video. And I am going to be making an advanced striking tutorial for... Uh, the channel as well but it's only going to be for my channel members so if you're interested in learning more in depth on how to be a really really good striker then click the link that's in the description of the video and sign up for one of the channel memberships and the videos will be up very very soon i'm going to make them this week as well as you get a free training session as well on ufc 5 so that's going to put you ahead of the curve if you choose to do so so again, if that interests you, click the link that's in the description of the video. But until next time, guys, take it easy. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I will see you guys in the next video.